Climate change is increasingly an infrastructure problem. To fully decarbonize the energy system, we'll need more than just a couple technologies. We'll need wind and solar, we'll need other low carbon, firm electricity production technologies, we'll need storage, and a whole litany of infrastructure. The way that we think differently here at CETF about climate is that we think of deployment as more than just a climate problem. We're thinking of clean energy infrastructure as a way to provide local air quality benefits, economic opportunity, jobs, drought management. And when we put these other values first, we think we get a more holistic and beneficial clean energy deployment landscape. The problem facing clean energy infrastructure deployment is that there are growing barriers. And in particular, these are non-technical barriers. That's permitting, that's regulation, that's land use and community acceptance. All of the non-technical issues that we face today. So our program tries to address those problems through research, analysis, and direct advocacy. One of the challenges that we face is that the advocacy narrative is dominated by incremental thinking. Really, to build all of the clean energy that we need will require, in some cases, a radical rethinking of the policies and planning paradigms. Another challenge is that a lot of the trade-offs associated with different deployment pathways, whether that be a high electrification future or one that relies on zero carbon fuels, they have different implications that are often obscured or difficult to understand. At the heart of the deployment challenge is social acceptance and community buy-in. Everything that we build to address climate change will ultimately be built in a particular community. And those communities ought to have a say on what gets built and under what conditions. We also spend time on the technologies, the engagement processes, the community benefits policies that really maximize the benefit for communities. To change this from a, an acceptance paradigm to one of local community engagement and enthusiasm for clean energy siting. We work on high risk, high reward challenges. Building all this clean energy will change the landscape, which requires managing ecological, visual, and land use impacts. The work that our team does was developed in concert with several of the programs here at Clean Air Task Force, one of them being land systems. Our colleagues' expertise on people's relationship with land, on ecology, on landscape scale planning, married with infrastructure programs expertise on siting, permitting, technology, are precisely the combination that drives innovative solutions.